G'day everyone. Today I'm doing a little trip out to probably one of my favorite lookouts in the Hunter Valley. It's called Broken Back Ridge. It's out in Colburn. And I wasn't planning on doing anything on my days off from work, but it is an unreal day as you can see now. It was pretty foggy and overcast this morning, but it's cleared out. So I just can't waste this afternoon. Just gonna go out for a quick little drive. There's a few little tracks, not really very hard, but as I, uh, as I go, you'll get to see. So keen to get on the road. So I've just pulled up here on the side of the road. I'm just on the way out to Broken Ridge, Broken Back Ridge where I said I was going. And you just drive through Colburn here, pretty much any direction you're coming from, say Singleton, Cessnock, Newcastle, Sydney, if you're really keen. It's just a beautiful winery sort of area. Lots of restaurants, lots of beer tasting, wine tasting, there's a vodka distillery, all that sort of stuff. And I've just pulled over to show you the mountain range that I'm gonna be going up on. So you can see here, I'm just sort of on the edge of a pretty dead looking uh, winery at the moment, but just gonna be going right up along that ridge. I think the main lookout is that one there, and then a bit longer, along a bit further is a little cell tower. So you pretty much drive up, you get on it around here and you can just drive right along it. So pretty keen, see how I go. Righty yo, so I'm up in amongst the ridge now. <clears throat> You sort of just drive through Bacolban and turn off and it goes onto a pretty easy dirt road. I know a few months ago I was out here and they had just uh, had like a grader out here. So the roads are pretty smooth even though they're dirt. So you'd be able to bring anything like a RAV4 or a Super Outback, that sort of thing, be able to come up here real easy. Um, I mostly know three spots up here and they pretty much go in difficulty of hardest to get to. And in saying that, they're not not any of them are real difficult. The last one, probably I would say, would need full drive, maybe even low range to get up. But at this first little one, there is a fun little challenge, and I'll show you that right now. So here's the main road that goes up, but on the side here, there's this pretty steep looking little ramp. So you obviously don't have to go up it, but I'm gonna give it a crack. Hopefully I don't scrape. I just want to say real quick, I'm super impressed with the patrol that it didn't scrape going up that little incline just then. Anyway, I've just driven up here a bit further on this first one, which I said was the easiest, and there's actually a few bog holes here, which I don't remember there being, so I'd say it's just because of all the rain recently, even though we've pretty much had rain all this year. I think we've been through about two or three floods, as I said in one of the last video or two. But I'm just gonna see how these go. I just check them with a the stick. They all seem fine. I'm, I mean, driven through a drive before and didn't have any dramas, so yeah, see how I go. I've just got near that first lookout slash camping area that I'm talking about and something new that they've added is whoever owns the area up here has just put this little sign saying private property just here. You know, it's saying private property, it's just saying don't make us lock it, clean your mess. So so they've just got on a little latch here, I'm just going to undo this, go in just so I can show everyone what it's like. Um, it's pretty much just keep it clean guys. It's, um, which you should be doing for every campsite. I can't stress it enough. Please don't leave your rubbish on the ground. If you don't wanna leave your rubbish in your car, get one of these bags. TGM, I don't even think it was more than a hundred bucks, probably less. It's got three pockets. You can put like your camping pegs, sand pegs. That's what I mostly use it for. Cans, it's got these three pockets so you can put like bottles, main pocket rubbish, another one cans. You can put wet swimmers and stuff in there just goes onto your spare wheel, highly recommend. So I've just got to the first little campsite, it's pretty small, like it'd be a one or two car, oh, you'd be pushing it to get three, <laughs> struggle to turn around and get out. Uh, it's just a little campsite, there's a little fire pit here, no rubbish, which is good to see. And it's got a pretty good view, as I'll show you in a second, but it's sort of got a few trees in the way. 
So it's not my favorite out of the lookouts here, but it's probably the easiest to get to and it's probably the, probably the easiest to get to and it's another spot if the other ones are taken. Example of a deceptive little bog hole. That is the smallest puddle in the front end just went boom. But I still stand by what I said about Subaru Outbacks, RAV4s, this next trails, all those sort of cars that have four wheel drive or all wheel drive capabilities but aren't quite the way all the way there. There's just chicken tracks around this. Should still be able to get that look out, no problem. So as you'd be able to see from behind me, this is a spectacular view, absolute hidden gem in the Hunter. Right in the middle of the Colburn, just, it is breathtaking. I'm at the second little spot here. I've just met a lovely bloke that's traveling Australia at the moment, his name is Isaac. He also had a patrol, had a little chat to him. And yeah, he's camping out just here for the week, he reckons. Told him about a few other nice little lookouts just around the area. But you just can't beat this sort of stuff. So glad to come empty today in this beautiful weather. What, more, what else is there to say? So to get to this uh, little lookout, you drive down into this second little spot, come down this trail and turn around and you're right there. It's spectacular. So, I'm at the start of the track that takes you to the third lookout that I know of. This one is a bit more wild, so I chug it down into four low just to get up here, just crawl up nice and easy. It's not anything that crazy, but probably do need a full drive for this one. So, I hope you enjoy this little, little drive. just got to the first campsite on the third lookout. You sort of come up the little trail there, there's a little, few little bog holes here, and you come to this first little clearing. Could probably fit two or three cars in here, I reckon. It's definitely only like one group per campsite. You can't fit like multiple people in, but just another stunning view up here. You just can't beat that. So just one last bog hole before the absolute best lookout in the Hunter Valley, hands down. Normally I would check this sort of stuff, but as I said, I've been here before. I know this one's a bit rocky in the middle, but it's not too bad. Always check it with a stick if you have not driven it before that. Also, for people that may not like bog holes, there is chicken tracks everywhere. Personally, I think the chicken track looks worse. It's muddy, where this is just dirty water. Comes off the car heaps easier. Anyway, we're almost there. So, I've just pulled up to this excellent campsite. There is some other lucky fellow here who's nabbed it for the whole weekend. It's one of those great spots where you can probably fit two or three cars especially if you have rooftops like this man has. It's an absolute great spot. I'll show you when we go a bit further in here. The view is spectacular. 
once you go up that little little drive, a few little bog holes, it is hands down the best view in the valley. Absolute hidden gem. Would uh, highly recommend coming out here. It's probably about an hour from Singleton. You just come on the expressway, turn off as if you're going to the Colburn, go past Tunnel Valley Gardens, take a ride at that uh, roundabout, and you should be able to find your the rest of the way here. I don't, I don't want to give it away too much because you do have to go through some private property and if everyone sort of comes up here with half an idea, they might uh, not follow the signs and get themselves in trouble. So just keep that in mind when you're coming up here. Be respectful, don't go through anyone's locked gates or anything like that. So hopefully we can keep this spot as it is. So this is it. This is what I reckon the best lookout slash view in the Hunter Valley. But hands down. Hidden gem in the middle of Pecalvin here. As I've said, just up there, about an hour from Singleton. It is unreal. You can see everything. There's a bit of a haze just on the horizon, but if you come up here with a set of binoculars, you can really see a long way. You can see all the way to Newcastle. And as I've said to Ben that I've just met here, that I think you can see Stockton Sand Dunes if you have a good set of binoculars. You can just, just see it just through the mountains there. But it's just absolutely spectacular breathtaking highly recommend spot So it's the end of the day. I've been up in probably my favorite spot in the Hunter Valley. Little tracks, they're not that hard, but I mean, tracks are fun. Doesn't matter really how hard they are. You're not out there getting stuck, having to wait for hours. <laughs> but yeah, unreal view, as I said, as I showed you, it's by far just like breathtaking. You just have to go. Like, I'm muddling up my words because I'm lost for words. Anyway, I'm back on the way to Singleton, for soccer training, just stopped in the Harrigans for a little bit. It's an unreal pub just near Hunter Valley Gardens here. And uh, yeah, that'll close out the video. So thanks for watching. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at wattosgu. That's just no spaces, no caps, no nothing. Just wattosgu. That's where I post everything. Any trips going on, just photos, everything reels. So yeah, 